Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, you will learn the process of updating the exported TDS and TCS forms for successful validation of the e-return text files. In File Validation Utility or FVU Tool 8.2, the department has introduced additional fields for which it is important for you to add fillers in the text files of TDS and TCS returns. You also need to update the deduct -E code in 27Q and collect -E code in 27EQ return files. This ensures that the files get validated without any error. Let's first see how to make changes in TDS Form 26Q in alignment with FEU Tool 8.2. As per the changes in FEU Tool 8.2, new fields are introduced in the eTDS text file under the deductee details DD lines. After recording the transactions, you can export TDS return form 26Q. Press Alt plus G. Type or select form 26Q and press Enter. Press F2. And change the from and to dates. Press Alt plus B to save the return. Now, press Alt plus G. Type or select form 26Q and press Enter. To export, press Alt plus E. Select E return and press Enter. Specify the folder path and press Enter. Specify the date. Set is regular return file for previous period value as yes or no as applicable. If yes, then provide the receipt number or token number. For this instance, let's set it as no. Press E to export the file. Open the exported tally.txt notepad file. In the deductee details lines, add 6 fillers at the end by pressing shift plus 6. The letters dd denote deductee details. Add the fillers and press ctrl plus s to save the file. Thereafter, you can validate the file in FVU tool 8.2. Now, let's see the changes that need to be made in TDS non-resident form 27Q. You need to update field number 8 as per annexure 11. List of deduct -E codes. Press Alt plus G. Type or select form 27Q and press Enter. Press F2. And change the from and to dates. Press Alt plus V to save the return. Now, press Alt plus G. Type or select Form 27Q and press Enter. Press Alt plus E. Select E return and press Enter. Specify the folder path and press Enter. Specify the date. Set is regular return file for previous period value as yes or no as applicable. If yes, then provide the receipt number or token number. For this instance, let's set it as no. Press E to export the file. Thereafter, open the exported tally.txt notepad file. You need to update the deductee code in the field number 8 in deductee details line as per annexure 8. Also, in the deductee details lines, add 6 fillers by pressing shift plus 6. After the first filler, add Y if the deductee has opted out of new tax regime or N if the deductee has opted to continue with new regime. Let's add N after the first filler and then add 5 more fillers. Once you add the fillers in both the DD lines, press Ctrl plus S to save the file. Thereafter, you can validate the file in FVU Tool 8.2. Now, let's see the changes that need to be made in TCS Form 27 EQ. You need to update field number 8 as per Annexure 8. List of Collect codes. Press Alt plus G. 
Type or select Form 27 EQ and press Enter. Press F2 and change the From and To dates. Press Alt plus B to save the return. Now, press Alt plus G. Type or select Form 27 EQ and press Enter. To export, press Alt plus E. Select E return and press Enter. Specify the folder path and press Enter. Specify the date. Set is regular return file for previous period value as yes or no as applicable. If yes, then provide the receipt number or token number. For this instance, let's set it as no. Press E to export the file. Thereafter, open the exported tally.txt notepad file. You need to update the Collecti code in the field number 8 in deducti details line as per annexure 8. Also, in the deducti details lines, add 6 fillers by pressing shift plus 6. After the first filler, add Y if the deductee has opted out of new tax regime or N if the deductee has opted to continue with new regime. Let's add N after the first filler and the other 5 fillers. Once you add the fillers, in both the DD lines, press Ctrl plus S to save the file. Thereafter, you can validate the file in FVU too late point too. As you saw, you can easily make the necessary changes in the exported text files of Form 26Q, Form 27Q and Form 27EQ and then validate them in FVU too late point too. Thank you. To know more about Tally Prime features, visit help.tallysolutions.com. Subscribe to the Tally Solutions channel for the latest videos.